and then insert the little screw and seal so they're all coming out uh, nothing's talked up fully but obviously talk that up fully when you to do it. shock absorber and spring assembly with the top mount assembled place that make sure the spring plate platform is fully down lube this a little bit if necessary before it goes in here and push that right down so the holes the shock was over as far down as it can go there's a reason for that and then put the three screws that will hold the top shock plate in shock mounting but don't tighten them at this point so three in and you'll see that can move up or down so for this for this aligning the bottom shocker put a screwdriver in and line it up like so there once that's done that should go in dead easy previous design mark one mark two this was a fixed top which made this very difficult to get in without pressing it down once that's once that's in talk that's don't fully torque that screw because you have to torque that bottom screw when the car the load of the vehicle is down. Ditto with the top mount. But now you can set that so it's flush at the top. And that work to that as a datum. And then knit these three screws at the back. If I could find my spanner for that and do it. Dropped it. So that's basically a quick assembly of the lower arm, the spring and shock, and the turret onto the subframe.